Hey there, birds. Welcome to another pick a card. So today we have a special one. Um, we're going to look at a quick advice and guidance for any situation, for any category of your choosing. So we have love, we have career, we have family and friends, and we have me stuff. So this over here, it's like, um, for example, if you want to move out and you're trying to figure out what is that about, uh, if you're feeling high vibe and want to know what to do, if you're not feeling high vibe and want to know what to do, you know, anything self-care or self-love related, this is your pal, okay? And then all you have to do is, I'm going to pull a close-up of each shelf where you have a little more uh, look into it. But after that, all you have to do is focus on your specific category, feel what shell is for you or what card is for you. The timestamps will be down below. And we're going to start by looking at your overall energy, okay? So what is going on right now while you're here? And then we're gonna look at your advice and guidance, okay? Most of the readings are like six, seven minutes, so it's really quick. And that is it. So let's go into the close up. Okay, so for the love category, we have here for pal number one, this beautiful shell. Okay, for pal number two, and for pal number three. Over here for the career category, this feels like I'm doing some sort of lottery or something. <laughs> what we have here for pal number one, for pal number two, and for pal number three. These are your shells. Now, for the family and friends category. By the way, if you're thinking about pregnancy or something, this may actually be the category for you and not so much love. Just saying, because I already did the ratings. <laughs> but for pile number one, we have this over here. For pile number two, this one. And for pile number three. All right. So these are your shells for family and friends. And then finally, last but not least, we have all that meat stuff that we were talking about. This over here, this little guy, this is for pal number one, for pal number two, and for pal number three. All right. Okay, and with that being said, uh, the time steps are going to be down below once again. And don't forget to smash like button, to subscribe if you haven't already, comment, share, anything you can do to support this channel is really, really appreciated. If you're interested in a private reading to dive a little bit deeper into this, whatever category it is, the link is going to be down below for that. And that is it. So let's jump into it. Hey there, pal number one. So if you chose this show, this is your reading. Welcome in. And uh, we're going to start by taking a look at your current situation to figure out why do you need guidance, why do you need advice, okay? And then we're going to jump into your quick um, guidance and advice for that situation, okay? But straight away, I feel like you should know that you are being guided. This is my universe shell. So it's like the universe has your back, okay? This for me, it's also about manifestation. So I kind of feel like whatever you're trying to manifest in regards to love, it's working, okay? I feel like it's it's coming in and you're being supportive. I do feel like you should look at signs, okay? Synchronicities and everything. Because I feel like the universe is really trying to communicate with you and trying to tell you that everything is happening exactly how it's supposed to, okay? But let's see what is going on here. So we have Tower, <laughs> way to start, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and Three of Wands. I kind of feel like, for some of you, you could be dealing with a third party, and I feel like it's not, it may not even be a physical third party. I feel like it's you already thinking, okay, should I stay here or should I move on? What is happening here? Should I break free from what is happening here, or should I just keep trying? And I feel like the key here is going to be looking at your manifestation, because this three of wands, it's all about manifestation. This, you've been manifesting, okay? So what does that look like, okay, and where do you think you should go that matches that, all right, because I feel like you're really juggling things here, juggling your thoughts, trying to figure out what is the best approach, what should I do, what is the right thing to do here, I feel like you already know, it's just a matter of you looking at your manifestations and figuring out what matches what, okay, but let's see here, what is the advice, so we have true love, okay, uh, this is the romance of a lifetime. I shuffled these uh, yesterday, so I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, this could be the one. I clearly don't remember what's in these cards. Um, but I guess you've been manifesting well. Goddamn. 
So we have the Wheel of Fortune and again extra cards. Uh, Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords and Eight of Wands. Don't be afraid to communicate to new people, okay? With this Three of Cups here, I feel like you could also be listening a lot to other people, to, I don't know, opinions and what you should have in your life and what you should, your next step should be in love. Only you know that, okay? Only you know what is best for you. You should know that the wheel is turning here. I mean, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty synchronistic, pretty, a pretty good synchronicity because this is the universe for me. It's wheel, it's judgment. Um, and I mean, you just got it. <laughs> you got to hear the wheel of fortune. So things are turning really good for you. And I feel like there's this thing of like, believe, believe that this is on its way to you. And again, I do feel like there may be something, if it hasn't ended yet, maybe there's something that's about to end here. For most of you, I do feel like it has already ended, and it could be that thing. Maybe it was a relationship, and you're at this point, you're like, okay, but do we still have a chance, or should I just move on, you know? And I feel like, again, you should look at yourself. You should look at your manifestations. Don't listen to others. Listen to your own voice, because right now with this Ace of, of Swords, especially, it's time to be authentic, okay? It's time to see what you want in your life and what matches that. But just know that someone here, Knight of Cups and Eight of Wands, someone here is coming into your life with a pretty damn good offer don't be afraid to express your not necessarily your emotions because this is smelling like new love for me um but i mean there's a lot of you so take it however resonates but i i do feel that there's new energy here to it and there is a lot of good communication don't be afraid to communicate back okay don't be afraid to be here and to be a little bit flirty to you know just just be, just allow yourself to be here, okay? So let's pull here some final messages and advice from the universe, okay? To see what is going on for you. What do you need to know? Ooh. Oh my God, I can't. We're by your side. Definitely being guided. Expect the unexpected. Look at that. Can we get two more? Okay, we got three more. So we have over here, um, the situation is not what it seems. We also have free like a bird. That's very towery to me. Uh, look around, there's something you're not seeing. So I definitely feel like, again, you may be thinking on, even if it's not like friends trying to tell you what to do about your love life, I feel like you're thinking too much about how will this affect that person? How would this affect the other person? How would this go on? How, what, you know, I feel like you're thinking too much on external stuff and I feel like you need to look more to yourself. Be a little bit selfish here. I feel like that's truly what they are asking you. It's number one, trust, because you're definitely being out of here, but be a little bit selfish and think about yourself. Think of what you want and what is best for you, okay? Here where the situation is not what it seems, I do feel like you are really struggling in finding the right place because it's almost like you're afraid of making a wrong decision. Don't be because I really feel like that is not the case, okay? I really feel like it is not. I do feel like you need to let go of something here, okay? Be it these people's opinions or just control, okay? Trust yourself. I really feel like there is no wrong choice here because you're definitely being guided. And I feel like you will know what is right, the right thing for you here. Okay? I really feel like you will know. And that choice will lead to this. So that's pretty good. <laughs> I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. Uh, this is what I have for you. If you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below. If you're dealing with a twin flame, we do have a membership. And don't forget to check my Instagram, okay? So this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped somehow. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe how already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pal number two. So if you chose this shell, this is your reading. And we're going to start here with an overall energy, see what's going on, to see why you need guidance. And then we're going to pull some advice for you and messages that you need here. Straight away with this shell, um, I kind of feel I'm getting two situations, actually. One of them is if you've been sort of isolating and not really talking to many people about your love situation, maybe it's time to do so. Uh, and this could even be like talking to this other person about how things are going, okay? But I kind of feel like there is, for some of you, there is a bit of isolation here. And you kind of need to break free from it. For others, you're listening too much to others. It's kind of the opposite. You're listening too much to others. And it's time for you to either like 
solve things with this person one-on-one. Don't let other people in, you know, and trust yourself, okay? I kind of feel like for most of you, this may actually be the first option, but let's see where we go. So we do have here the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Seven of Cups. Okay, so there could be third parties here. Honestly, I don't necessarily feel like it's third parties in terms of love, like this person having someone or you having someone. Um, I definitely feel like this is something that is growing really, really good. And this is growing into something that you have wished for. This is growing to something that you really, you are really happy with this person. But I kind of feel like then doubt and confusion sets in. And I feel like you may be starting to wonder, is there a third party? Is there something else here? And I kind of feel like you need to talk to this person, maybe discuss feelings here and just, you know, just be honest with one another and on how, where you want to go with things. Because with this Knight of Pentacles, this is pretty slow energy. So I feel like things could be going really, really slowly. And you're like, okay, well, I guess it's time for things to move a little bit. What is going on here? And I feel like you're trying to figure that out on your own and trying to look at all the, the options. Oh, maybe it's going to separation. Maybe it's going to failure. Maybe it's going to marriage. Maybe it's going to kids. Maybe it's going to da 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 da. And you're not really figuring things out as a couple, as, you know, in union. So maybe it's time to do so. But let's see here the advice. We have Colin and your soulmate. And we also have a soulmate. Great. So this is your soulmate, okay? And I feel like you should know that and um, trust that, really believe in that. So we have a magician. God damn. Pal is interesting because pal number one was also manifesting some pretty amazing stuff. We have ten of wands and six of pentacles. I do feel like in previous relationships, perhaps there was not um, any sort of balance give and take you know i feel like you would give 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 and the other person would not give back and so i feel like now you have been manifesting this new person you have been manifesting this relationship you did you got it <laughs> okay it's exactly what you've been manifesting call in your soulmate and you got soulmate so this is already the soulmate you've been looking for nine of cups it's all about wish fulfillment but i feel like you're doubting it because of past trauma because of burdens of you know New people, um, new people, what? No, <laughs> my retrograde, come on. Um, it's, I feel like it's past relationships that really caused you this thing of lacking trust in yourself, lacking trust in relationships, because I feel like you got into this mindset where I'm going to give and I'm not going to get anything in return. I feel like you're already thinking about that. You know, I feel like you're already th telling yourself that, that you're not going to get anything from this relationship, that this is too good to be true, that this will not get into something further, you know? And magician, you have been manifesting this, okay? Call in in your soulmate. This is literally what you have been manifesting. So why not trust it, okay? Why not trust it? For some of you, I do feel like there is this thing of... Um, and, and that thing of friends, of like having to communicate with friends and, you know, asking for help, I feel like it's just about talk, communicate with other people. Because for some of you, this is something that you are currently manifesting, that you are trying to bring into your life. And I feel like part of you, it's already thinking, oh no, it's, it's not going to work. I'm not going to get my manifestation. You may not be aware of it. It may be subconscious, but I do feel like you're thinking that if it does show up, it's not going to be as you imagine. It's not going to be perfect. I do feel like it could be, okay? Maybe not perfect because nothing is perfect, but it's perfectly imperfect, you know? And I feel like you're not truly believing in that. So with that thing of maybe it's time to communicate with friends, maybe it's time to communicate with other people, okay? If you don't have this soulmate yet, maybe it's time to go out and have fun, go out and get to know new people. One of those people could be a soulmate, okay? So let's go hear some final messages and advice for you. From the universe. Can we get one more? Thank you very much. So we do have here um, journal, but also communicate. Okay, I'm also hearing social media. So maybe there is someone sliding into your DMs, and you're like, ah, fuck boy or fuck girl or whatever, um, and you're not really trusting it. It's like, okay, here we go again, and I feel like you're really. You, I feel like those past relationships and past situations, past experience are really bringing you down here, okay? So it's really time for you to 
um, heal that, okay? We have listen to your inner child. It's really time for you to journal and heal that because I feel like it could be stuff coming in from childhood. Maybe you were rejected a lot as a child and now that is that is sort of affecting you at this moment where you're not trusting relationships at all, okay? We also have external factors. So there is also that thing of you needing to go out and look at other people, okay? If you're already dealing with someone, don't listen to other people. Don't think that there is external things going on. It's all inside, okay? I really feel like these external factors may even be like people telling you, oh, are you sure that that is okay? Are you sure that you trust this person? It may not be, it may not be that perfect. And they make you doubt. Listen to yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. And this, I feel like it's really important to bring out. Everything's going to be okay. All right? So trust this. All right? So pound number two is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe. How many already? Private readings. The link is going to be down below if you're interested. And don't forget to check my Instagram as well. If you're dealing with a twin flame, we have a membership with exclusive twin flame videos. And that's it. So have a nice day. I will see you next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pal number three, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this shell, you're in the right place. And we're going to start with a little overall energy to see what's going on, why do you, why are you here? <laughs> and then we're going to jump into the guidance and advice that you need at this moment about that. Okay, so straight away with this shell, um, if it hasn't happened already, uh, I kind of feel like for most of you, maybe it has already happened, some sort of separation. Um, for others of you, if it hasn't happened, I do feel like there's something here that needs to end. It could be a chapter. It could be like maybe you needing to heal or this person needing to heal something or, um, you know, needing to let go of something for you to be able to move forward. This shell for me, it's a lot about endings. Okay. So it's actually interesting that this shell for me, it's Taurus energy. So shout out to all my Taurus, but, um, I'm saying that because I'm so hungry right now. I was not while I was doing Pow 2, and all of a sudden, this Taurus energy just jumps in, and I'm like, God, I could eat a whole meal right now. Goddamn. <laughs> but just, maybe you're hungry too. Just just thought I would say that. But let's jump in here into your current situation. Wow, that's so interesting. Ten of Swords, Temperance, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I kind of feel like we're here in the stage of moving on. Honestly, with the Page of Pentacles, maybe there's someone coming back in some sort of way. Or I'm kind of hearing playing innocent. It's like, oh, no, I'm doing great. Oh, no, everything's fine. You know, really trying to tell you, no, everything's healed. Everything's okay to move forward. Mm. Is it, though? You know, I kind of feel like you be careful about it. Because with the temperance card here, right in the middle, I feel like you're both in the process of healing. You're both in the process of figuring out what you want to do, where you want to go. And that takes a little bit of time. So don't try to move things too fast, you know. Just be careful about it. Especially like with this shell in the Ten of Swords just says it all. Just like take your time with it, Okay. But I definitely feel like a big, big ascending here uh, happened. And I feel like now you're walking towards a new light, a new chapter, a new version of yourself, perhaps. And I feel like you need to match energy. I, I need to, I feel like you need to find stuff that matches that energy, you know? And with this page of pentacles, maybe it's time for you to explore new things. I'm also hearing movement. So maybe it's time for you to move out and go to a different city, a different country. Um, I kind of feel like that is specific and it's for those that have been thinking about that. That is your green light to do, the, to do so. But it's like, you need something new. And I kind of feel like this person may come in with a little bit of this energy from the past, so just be careful about it. We do have, it is safe for you to love, okay. Uh, we also have, oh, <laughs> deception. All right, that is interesting. Let's pull the tarot before we say anything. Page of Cups, not surprised to see that. Uh, hierof uh, hierophant, what? No, Fool. Gosh, that Taurus energy. Hierophant is Taurus energy. And we have six of, uh, Fool, six of ones in reverse, and seven of pentacles. So, yeah. Um, 
page of cups that's all about apology that's all about an offer of love that honestly here i feel like this person is going to say oh let's you know let's just jump right in let's not think about this mm. hmm Especially right after it having the six of ones in reverse. Six of ones still about success and victory and um, like a lot of recognition and just things going well. That being in reverse is not so good. And I kind of feel like this, like it's safe for you to love. It's like, it's not that this is not, it's not that love is impossible for you. But maybe look at different options. Maybe look at different places. Maybe try to get out of here for a second and plant your seeds somewhere else. Again, there's that reference to maybe planting your seeds physically somewhere else. Um, moving out, moving to a different place here. Um, and with this deception, this does not make me feel that good about this person. So I really feel like it's important here that you keep your distance at least for a little bit, okay? Because I feel like, again, I feel like they are presenting themselves as being totally healed. Everything's perfect. Everything's fine. Yeah. Just be careful about it. Okay? But again, it is safe for you to trust love. It is safe for you to believe that you'll get love again. Just take your time with it. Don't, don't rush. Okay? Don't rush. So, let's see here. Some messages and advice from the universe to finish this off. Can we get one more? Thank you. Something needs to end. Yeah. That's right. Oh, and we have free like a bird. Goddamn. So let's see what we have here. I do feel like you're growing, um, especially with here the surrender you've done everything you could card. It's like, I really feel like you have been growing and you have been... You've been walking towards this place where, yes, you are ready to take a leap of faith, but you need, it's that thing, you need to to find someone who matches your energy. Because this here, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like you're ready for that energy. Maybe not with this person, I have to be honest, because I feel like they are not there anymore. I really feel like they are not, and I really feel like it's not up to you to do anything about this connection here. If they really want this, they have to work a little bit more on themselves. They have to grow. They still have to grow a little bit. Because I feel like you're somewhere else. So we have a uh, look around. There's something you're not seeing. This deception definitely. And the right path is the one you choose to take. So whatever you choose to do... It's the right thing because I feel like if you follow your heart, if you truly listen to yourself, if you truly listen to your healed self, not to your past self, to your healed self, I feel like you will find this stuff and you will, for me, this is really smelling like pay attention to the red flags kind of thing. It, it's that thing. Don't rush. If you want to pursue something with this person, take your time with it. Take your time to look at each single thing and figure out okay, this is a red flag. Okay, this is actually a green flag. Okay, so this person has worked on this, but this is another red flag. And so it's like, if you truly want this connection, work on those red flags. Don't go into commitment just like that. I feel like that is what this person wants. Try not to do that because I feel like it's not the right thing right now. Okay? Listen to yourself. Truly listen to yourself. And when I say to yourself, it's to what is best for you. Okay? So, yeah, I hope res this resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in a private reading so we can dive a little deeper into this, the link is going to be down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're interested in weekly messages. And if you're dealing with a twin flame, by the way, we have a membership with exclusive videos. So maybe check it out. And I will see you next one. Bye-bye. Hi there, pal number one. So if you chose this shell for a career, you're in the right place. And we're going to start here with a little uh, overall energy to see what is going on in your career. And then we'll pull some advice, okay? So straight away with this shell right here, this for me, like this is your life purpose. Whatever you're asking about, whatever you're questioning about, it's your life purpose, okay? This is your mission. I feel like you're being very guided as well. And it's almost like just trust the process. I feel like right now, the energy that I'm picking up, it's like maybe doubting a little bit. I feel like 
you're doubting yourself, you're doubting the path, you're doubting, is really the universe on my side? You know, I feel like you're doubting a lot. Try to take a deep breath and focus on the feeling, on what you feel when you do what you do. Because I feel like you, you are very happy with what you do and you are really fulfilled with what you do. Focus on that. Okay, really connect with that. I just saw uh, 0101, so there's definitely like a new beginning here. And, you know, trust. <laughs> so let's see here. We have the two of wands, star, and ace of pentacles. Yeah, so I really feel like you have been manifesting something. Um, this star for me, funny enough, it's really looking like the magician. Uh, or the vibe, the, the energy from it. It's really looking like the magician. It's like, please, universe, give me a new opportunity. Oh, and I didn't I just say new beginnings. <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's all about new beginnings. Um, but I definitely feel like whatever you've been asking for, it's here. And I kind of feel like you need to believe in that. Because this star, she looks a bit... Uh, I don't know. I even feel like she's crying over there. I, I feel like she's... Not necessarily giving hope, but it's like, please show me a sign. Please show me something. And even, like, not too long ago, I saw 0133. So you have that 33 synchronicity. Um, I feel like you're already receiving signs. It's just a matter for you to, to look at them. Because I feel like right now, you may be this guy, this dude, looking at the wand and being like, oh, you know, I still have so much to walk. I still have so much to do. And in reality, you can be the other dude that has the key, okay? Actually, I never really noticed that it was a wand and a key. That's so interesting. And, but I do feel like you have the key here to unlock your potential and to unlock very good things in your career. Um, and it, it's just a matter of you taking that step with confidence. It's just a matter of you believing in yourself and keep going where you're going. Because again, life purpose, okay? This is not just another job. This is not just another career. This is your life purpose. This is what you're here for, Okay. So let's see what we have here. Magical blessings. Ah, oh, look at this. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. That's so good. We also have flourish. Yeah. So, dude, Ace of Pentacles flourish. Things are really growing for you. Okay? You are being blessed here. I really feel like uh, there is something here. Oh, God. You got it a lot. Uh, I do feel like there is something here that is coming forward and you're really having a difficult time in accepting it dude this is wow this is too much <laughs> i can't look at freaking this first of all the star and i was picking up on that magician energy you're manifesting this okay whatever new opportunity you want it is coming knight of swords that's pretty damn fast energy okay and we have over here queen of pentacles king of pentacles divine feminine divine masculine this is within you Okay, you are in pentacles. It's all about career. It's all about money. It's all about prosperity. Dude, you are doing it. Okay, believe in yourself. You are abundant. I feel like you may need to tell yourself some affirmations or write them down uh, in a journal. But like, get into a the abundant mindset because you are. Okay, you really, really are. And I feel like you need to trust yourself a bit more. Right now with this eight of swords, it's all about self entrapment. Like, there is no sword blocking her way. The bad stuff, they already killed the beast. She had to hide over there, but she can move now. And she's like wondering, hmm, is it really safe for me to go? I don't know. Maybe I should just stay here for a second longer. Dude, just get out of there. Okay? And I feel like that's the same thing. You may have this, maybe some block, some limiting belief around money, around abundance about around career that you need to figure out okay so do a little bit of journaling around that and look at this sequence like eight of swords queen of pentacles taking care of yourself okay really taking care of your own pentacle of who you are of your health of your body of your soul and once you do that once you're in not in an eight of pentacles but in a queen of pentacles you are able to move forward to the king of pentacles. So you're not only giving to yourself, you're also giving to others. You're giving to your career. You're receiving abundance back. Okay? And with this magician, it's like it's everything you've been looking for. Okay? So I feel like more than guidance, I feel like this was more of... This is so out of frame. Okay. Um, not out of frame, but... Oh gosh, I'm such a fuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like more than guidance and advice, this was more... 
of a confirmation. This is more like a wake-up call to believe in yourself, okay? So let's pull here some final messages and advice from the universe. <laughs> I cannot. Yes, this is real. What else do we have for power number one? Wow, we have a lot. So let's see here. We do have wake up and go now. Yeah. It's up to you. <laughs> oh my god. Your wishes are coming true. This has to be the best rating I've ever done. Uh, you are in the right path. Bro, don't doubt. Just keep freaking do it, doing it. Like You are in the right path. Your wishes are coming true. It is up to you to choose the key and not the one. To choose the, I can do this. I have everything I need to do what I want to do. And not to focus on the one of, oh my god, I still have so much to walk. I still have so much to do. You already have enough. You already have everything that you do. Tell that yourself. Wake up and go now into that mindset. Okay? Whatever you're going through, it's mindset. It's not external. It's not you doing something bad. It's not you not doing your purpose or whatever. It's not you being on the wrong path. You are on the right path. You are just not on the right mindset. Okay? So fix that. Go work on that because you are doing great. Okay? Ah, so I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in the private reading so we can dive a little deeper into this, the link's going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the my instagram okay so with that being said i see you in the next one bye bye hey there pal number two so if you chose this show right here this is your reading you're in the right place and we're going to start here with some overall energy to see what is going on in your career why you're here and then we'll pull the guidance and advice you need okay so straight away from this show this is all about uh getting out of a bad situation no truth coming out and some secrets, maybe even some secrets being revealed, okay? So let's see how this plays out for you. But I kind of feel like there is some sort of, I'm hearing freedom, almost like a breakthrough, you know? I feel like you could have gone through a little bit of a dark night of the soul or something where things weren't really that great. And uh, you probably didn't get a lot of information. This may even be around like secrets from the universe, like you being a little bit in a void position, not really knowing what is going on. Where should I go? How the hell do I get out of here? Uh, and I feel like all of those answers are arriving, okay? So let's see. Three of Swords. Oh, yeah. Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Yeah. So there's that thing of seeing the good and the bad. Like this, um, not seeing the good and the bad, like getting out of a bad situation, but seeing the good and the bad. That's how you get out of there. Because this girl is really focused on the three spilled cups. And she has two standing cups right there, you know? And I feel like she's crying and she's like, oh no, I have to drown myself as well to be able to move things forward. She doesn't. She can just walk away and keep going, okay? And I kind of feel that I'm not telling you to not feel your feelings because I believe that a way out through the storm is, a way out of a storm is through the storm. So a way out of bad feelings is through those feelings, is facing those feelings. And I kind of feel like you need to use that in your advantage. Why are you feeling this? What didn't work out in that career? What is not working out? How can I transform stuff? What am I learning from this? Okay, this page of pentacles, I really get a lot of learning the lessons vibes, okay? So I really feel like things for you right now are really tough. And I'm also getting those things of secrets being revealed and truth coming out, I feel like it's more around maybe even ideas. It's like you're really maybe a bit focused on this three of cups, uh, three of swords, five of cups, really bad stuff. And if you notice in the three of swords, she's hurting herself. It's like it's no one's doing. It's She's doing that herself. And I really feel like it's time for you to step up, step into your power here and... Try to see the other side of the coin, okay? Try to see, okay, this may not be the path. Maybe this is something that I need to change. How can I change it? You know, start investing in it. Start realizing what do you need to do, okay? Start figuring out that. But let's see here. We do have go outside. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. And wow, look at that magical gateway. Man. And I'm actually going to read this to you. 
It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So I really feel that you're getting a new opportunity here. It will only appear when you get out of this, okay? When you start looking at the two cups. That's when you start looking, oh, okay, wait, I do have a solution, you know? And with this go outside, really think outside the box. Have an idea. Um, maybe literally go outside, go into nature, stop for a second, and just listen to yourself. You know, maybe even meditate a little bit, but just connect with yourself and try to find out new ideas to move forward. Because you will find something that may be really, really scary. For some of you, maybe you already know what you need to do with this page of pentacles here. That's all about learning new stuff. Maybe you already know what you, where you want to go and what you want to do. But it's scary as well, as hell. But, dude, venturing into the unknown. This is where the greatest rewards are, okay? I really feel like whatever, whatever you're going, you may be a little bit scared of doing that. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at all this major arcana. Dude, it's so worth it, okay? We have lovers, strength, wheel of fortune beautiful cards. So I really feel like right now you may be resisting making that change, maybe resisting looking at other options. It's like, um, for, I'm, I'm kind of picking up on two groups. One of you, it's still in the place of, no, it has to be this way. And another group already has this little hint on, okay, well, maybe this is where I need to go. And you're a little bit scared of looking at that and taking some sort of action in that with the strength here. But once you actually control that fear and you don't let it take advantage of you, that's when the wheel turns and this is what you get. Lovers. Okay, this is a career that you absolutely love. This is a a side hustle, a hobby, a whatever it is that we're talking about here. It's something that really lights you up. It's something that really makes you feel so fulfilled and so happy. Don't you want that? Courage and venture forward, okay? It's time to change things here. Whatever was going on clearly was not working out. It's time to get out of there, okay? I'm also hearing be impulsive. Maybe be a little bit careful with Mercury retrograde, but like start taking one step at a time, okay? Start planning stuff. Just... Do stuff and follow your freaking heart. Yeah. So let's go hear some final messages and advice from the universe. What do we have for pile number two? Can I get one more? Woo. Oh, gosh. Okay. We have a lot. <laughs> but we do have here free like a bird. It's definitely time to get out of there. Okay. And try new things. Do new things. And what are your dreams telling you? Okay, pay attention to your dreams. They are trying to communicate with you. And also, where do you wish to go? What is your stupid, crazy dream that you would do if society didn't exist? If money didn't exist? If this or that? If nothing exist, existed except you and your dreams? What is that stupid dream? It's not that stupid, so figure do it, okay? Look around, there's something you're not seeing. Definitely, it's that solution, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. And self codependency, believe in yourself, okay? You are the only person you need, so you may feel like, oh no, but I still have to do this because um, it, it may be something around you wanting to quit your job, but you're like, oh no, but I'm like, people need me. They will find something to, re someone to replace you, okay? Because you're meant to go somewhere much greater. Much, much greater. Okay? If that is the case, that shouldn't be an issue. Self-codependency, there could also be something around like, oh, but my parents think that this is irresponsible. Or my friends don't really believe in me. Well, are they living your life? I don't think they are. Be independent. Do the hell you want. All right? So pile number two, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Do subscribe if you haven't already. The link for private readings, are, it's going to be down below if you're interested. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. All right? So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pile number three. So if you chose this shell right here, this is your reading. You're in the right place. 
And we're going to start here with your current situation to see why you're here. And then we're going to pull some cards for your advice, okay? So straight away, some of you could be into like some sort of design. Maybe interior. I always get interior design from this shell. I have absolutely no idea why. That's the magic of shells. Um, maybe fashion design or, you know, something. Um, but this shell for me, it's a lot about creativity. Shout out to all my tourists, by the way, because this for me is tourist energy. But um, this for me, it's a lot about creativity and finding stability and also getting a clear view and a big picture out of a situation. So maybe that's what you need right now. Okay, it's taking a little step back and trying to figure out why is this happening? What do I want to do? You know, just really trying to focus on your path. I just saw 55, so maybe some sort of change here is needed. But let's take a look. We have the Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Chariot, wow, and Emperor. So I really feel like you have been working on a pretty important project for you, I feel. Uh, maybe a pretty important career. I kind of feel like you're doing it on pilot. You know, I feel like you're it's not that you're not investing your time and efforts and energy into it, because you definitely are with the Eight of Pentacles, but it's like you are not allowing yourself to follow your heart. You're not allowing yourself to truly put your whole 100% self into it. I feel like there could be something where you may want a promotion or you may want, I don't know, to do something different. You want to venture into something. And I feel like you may be a little bit afraid of stepping into your power and asking for it and doing it or, or something because um with this two of swords you're not really wanting to see anything but what you're doing and i feel like you that's the thing you kind of need to step out you kind of need to zoom out a little bit and figure out where you want to go where you truly want to go not what makes sense because swords are very logical swords are very swords and it's so interesting because you have swords and, pe and pentacles that's very practical logical energy very mental um, and very, like, planned, you know, maybe a little bit too planned. Um, and here, on the other side, we have water and fire. That's all the opposite. And if you notice, you have minor arcanas and major arcanas. Major arcanas are big life events, are big situations that are guided by the universe. And this is who you truly can become. Someone who follows their heart and is creative, is passionate about what they do, and it's not afraid to take action, it's not afraid to step into their power and do what they need to do, you know? And I kind of feel like you're always in this very 3D aspect of stuff, and I feel like you need to zoom out a little bit and go into a more 5D, into a more emotional aspect of it. Okay, but let's see what we have. Nature signs... We also have ask for help. Okay, uh, let's see here from the tarot. Seven of Cups, Tower, Goddamn, Ace of Wands. So, well, talking about change with a tower, that's a big boom that I feel like needs to end. It's like right now, I feel like you're doing stuff again, maybe on pilot, maybe following a, a really thought out plan. It's almost like you, you planned on, I don't know getting out of high school, going to med school, having everything figured out, then you're going to take your PhD and you're doing that and the other. You're planning your whole life and you are not thinking that at any second your life can change all of a sudden. And I feel like things have changed for you all of a sudden, especially with this tower, or they are wanting to change. I feel like something inside of you is changing and you're not really paying attention to that. It's like all around her, there's that fire that w really wants to get to her, that really wants to make her move. But she's like, no, no, nah, I, I don't think so. And in this case, this fire is not harmful at all. You know, this in this case, this fire, it's, it's passion, okay? And you have this one here. Okay, for some of you, you may, your crazy stupid dream, you actually were just talking about that with pile number two. What is your crazy stupid dream? What is your heart calling you to do? For some of you, you may want to be writers or artists, maybe interior an interior designer or, or something around fashion. Um, and you're not really listening to that. For you, that may be really stupid. Like, I'll never make it. That will never happen. How do you know? Have you tried it? Have you? 
And with this five, uh, seven of cups here, there is a lot of confusion. It's like you're working and you're working and you're doing and nothing seems to happen. Why? Why could it be? Maybe because it's not for you. Okay? Because maybe you need to get out of there. And I do feel like you're seeing possibly a lot of synchronicities or like you see the same animals over and over and over again. I really feel like you need to pay attention to those signs and more than that, connect with your true nature. Okay? That is actually help that is coming in from the universe, trying to guide you to the right direction. Okay? And with this ask for help, don't be afraid to be... Oh, and look where the shuffle ended. New beginning on the horizon. I really feel like you need to go towards something that really lights you up. Okay? This, for me, feels very... Um, the word that comes to mind is boring, but it's not really like that. I feel like it's monotonous. It's day-to-day, -day and I feel like you're craving a little bit for passion and adventure and new stuff. Listen to that. Truly listen to that. Okay? Hang it time to just come and embrace it. And what I was saying with that, ask for help. Don't be afraid to talk to your friends and be like, you know what? I feel like I may need to, to your friends, to your family, whatever, don't be afraid to tell them, like, I may need to change things. I'm not happy where I am. Talk to yourself. Ask yourself some help. Okay? So let's see here some final messages and advice from the universe. For pile number three. Pile number three. Oh, that's so funny. We have asked for help twice. Goddamn. Um, we also have trust your spirit guides in the universe, trust your soul's calling. I'm actually being called to, um, mention a book. It's called, uh, White is the New Black, something like that. Uh, maybe you're interested in taking a look at that, okay? Uh, we also have Follow Your Intuition, and you know what? I'm actually going to be right back, because I'm going to grab that book, and I'm going to read a page to you. So it's actually not called white, it's actually called light is the new black. Not far, but it's from Rebecca Kempel. I absolutely love her. This book is so good, okay? So actually I'm going to take my marker here and let's just see where we want to take a look. Ooh, this is, wow, my god. So career versus calling. You can lose your job, but you can lose your calling. So a job is something that you show up to every day to get paid for. Whether or not you enjoy it, a job is seen as work. A calling is something that you do because you love it and can't imagine doing anything else. It's something that you would do for free for the joy of it. And sometimes it's feel like this is the exact reason you were put on earth. A job forces you to fit into a mold. A calling expands, you, expands with you. Your calling doesn't have to be big and lofty. It doesn't have to be your job. It might be being a supportive mother or a peace activist for the UN. Um, and I mean, <laughs> this is a pretty long thing, but I really feel like this here of work your light. Do you currently have a job or a calling? Okay. And do you have something more in you that longs to be shared with the world? And I feel like you do. Okay. So, wow, this couldn't be more fitting here. I have absolutely no idea where I have this. Oh, it's here. Um, but yeah. Light is the new black. I'll link the book down below um, if you're interested in reading the rest of it. Totally advice, uh, recommended. But yeah, I kind of feel like right now you have a job and you're being asked to go towards your calling. Okay? So, pile number three. This was a little extra. Don't tell the others. But <laughs> I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in a private reading to dive a little deeper into this, um, the link is going to be down below for that. And you can always follow me on Instagram. Okay? So, that is it. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pile number one. So, if you chose this beautiful shell. This is awesome. Um, this is one of my favorite shells. Don't tell the others. But if you chose that shell, you're in the right place. So we're going to start here with a little overall energy to see what's going on with your family and friends. What is the situation here? Um, and then we'll pull your guidance and advice for dealing with that. Okay? So uh, straight away, with this shell right here, this, this is the Empress. This is Empress energy. I kind of feel that you need to listen to yourself a bit more. I kind of feel like you need to live more in the flow of who you are and not so much of 
who your family and friends want you to be, you know. This is about you seeing the beauty in, in yourself and feeling peaceful with where you are, not needing to justify your actions, not e needing to justify what's going on in your life, you know. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm getting a strong sense of independence, you know. This is about you being yourself. Um, so, yeah. I'm also picking up on, like, Cancer vibes. Also, Empress is Taurus and Libra, so shout out to all of you. But you don't have to be any of those signs. But let's see what is going on here. So we have the Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. God damn. So I really feel like right now you could be taking a break, you know, to be an Empress, to focus on yourself, for, to give yourself some self-love. And your family and friends, or friends, uh, could be like trying to push you and trying to be like oh no but let, come on let's move let's try and do something new you gotta you gotta move you gotta do this you gotta do that because the thing here is that i feel like they see you has a page of pentacles like oh you're 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 still a baby you're you're you still don't know what you want to do with your life you still need our guidance our help they don't freaking know that you're the king of pentacles that you are already in a place where because you're taking care of yourself you know what you want. Even if you don't know what you want, I feel like I feel like you just don't know what you want because you're listening to them. Because if you would stop and listen to yourself, it would be like, oh, okay, so that's where I need to go. You know, don't force yourself out of the Four of Swords. Don't force yourself out of a break time, out of a period of reflection and introspection just for the sake of others. Okay, I really feel like you need to step into your power here and be the king of pentacles you are. If right now that means saying, no, let me be, say no, let me be. Okay, whatever you feel like you need to say right now, say it. So we have here balance. That, that is what I feel like you're getting. We also have resistance. I really feel like people are trying to push your buttons here. And I feel like it's so important that you don't let them. Okay, so we have judgment, temperance. Wow, look at all this major arcana. This is huge. Um, so judgment, temperance, and um, death. I really feel like you're going through a big ass transformation here from who you used to be, from who these people thought you were and are used to you being and to who you truly are. Because with this judgment, you're waking up. I wouldn't be surprised if you're going through some sort of you or if you went through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like now things are a bit easier in the sense of I feel like now you're truly loving yourself and you're really connecting with yourself and everything. Possibly you're uh, recovering from the dark night of the soul or something or spiritual awakening. And I feel like now you're just trying to live in the flow. And that's where she, that's where you, what you should be doing here, okay? Because you are going through big transformation. Don't resist that transformation. Because I feel like at the same time, you are resisting that. Again, for the sake of others. Because, oh my God, but what are others going to think? This could be around career. Um, maybe you want to check out one of the other readings. But um, I really feel that... Whatever you think it's right for you right now, that is the right thing for you right now. <clears throat> okay? Really believe in yourself. And right now, I mean, I, I have been talking a lot, <laughs> but I'm having really trouble with my throat chakra. I feel like you're having trouble with your with speaking up and telling your truth. And I feel like that's what you need here. Okay? It's time for you to step up into your power. And don't resist change, because that change, I mean, look at all this major arcana, that change is guiding you, and that change is making you be the empress. Either you're a female or, or a male, it doesn't matter. We all have uh, divine masculine and divine feminine here, and right now the divine feminine is really calling you to take care of yourself. Not of others, but yourself. Okay, the empress is also the mother, but the mother, when she's pregnant, she has to eat. She has to take care of her body. At the same time, she's automatically nurturing the, ba the baby, okay? That's what you need to do right now. And that baby, it's not other people. That baby, it's your career. It's your path. It's your love life, whatever it is, okay? So take care of yourself. Let's see here. Final messages and advice from the universe to you about this situation. Uh, okay, this one. So let's see here. 
we do have <clears throat> work that ass off. Sorry, a little for a moment. <laughs> we have stop. We also have go crazy and listen to your inner child. Yeah, I kind of feel like your inner child was always looking, um, or you as a child, you were probably always looking for this people appreciation and validation and everything. Now it's time for you to stop doing that, and now it's time for you to look for your own validation. Okay, you. I am a strong believer that you have to be your number one supporter. You have to be your number one believer because. It's not other people's jobs to do that. It's not other people's jobs to be your supporter and your number one fan. They are because they love you and they are because they feel like they truly believe in you. And some people say that they are and they are really not. So right now, I really feel like you need to get ready for some change. Embrace the change. Don't resist it. Okay, embrace the change because you're being called to go somewhere much bigger. And yes, some people may actually be left behind leave them because they are not meant to be with you in this path okay so believe in yourself i feel like you're doing great go crazy okay and that is it so i hope it resonated hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe if you haven't already uh the links the link for private readings it's going to be down below don't forget to follow me on instagram if you're interested in like random videos uh <laughs> and yeah so i'll see you in the next one bye bye hey there pal number two so if you chose this shell, this is your reading. This is one of my favorite shells. Uh, it's actually funny because my favorite shells, most of them are in family and friends category. Uh, that is interesting. So <laughs> if you chose this shell, this reading is for you. And we're going to start here with an overall energy of what is going on in your life. Uh, with your family and friends, why you're here, why you need guidance, and then we're going to look at the guidance and the advice for you, okay? So if you chose this shell right here, I can already feel that, well, number one, this for me, it's my star seed shell, so you most likely are a star seed. Honestly, I kind of believe that we all are, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you resonate with that, um, if you don't know what it is, maybe give it a look, but if you resonate with that, then you're definitely in the right place. And I feel like you may feel like an outcast. You may feel like, uh, no one understands you. You're, you may feel a little bit lonely. Honestly, I feel like this here, it's about you finding your f soul family, okay? Not your 3D earthly family. No, your soul family, the ones that really, truly resonate with you, that really understand you, that really feel like you are not a weirdo or if they may think that you're a weirdo but they love that weirdo and right now you may not even have a lot of friends um or you may have a lot of friends that are not truly friends you know and i feel like you kind of need to get out of that place and find yourself find your tribe okay but let's see what we have we have the three cups the eight of cups fool god damn this is basically what i've been telling you um so we have here the three cups that's all about friendships and then we have the eight of cups right after it that's about well first of all spiritual journey and spiritual journey usually you have to go alone and i kind of feel like that's what you need i feel like you need to discover yourself and this right now feels more like a me stuff kind of reading than a family and friends but i just feel like you are not connecting with the right people i have to be honest i feel like you're connecting with people that serve the purpose you know they were there for some time they i, I mean i feel like we're both glad that they were there um i feel like they taught you a lot they helped you through a lot but right now i feel like you need to take a leap of faith here towards somewhere else maybe a different city maybe you need to move out maybe a different job a different community i've i'm um, oh, actually now that we're talking about community i'm actually hearing um that maybe you're gay or queer whatever um and you may actually need to you may be a little bit afraid i feel like that is very specific but you may be afraid of coming out to your friends and don't be okay don't be Because I feel like once you step into, that's what I truly believe, once you step into your true authenticity and you are who you truly are, you start seeing the people for who they really are and you start finding your tribe. Because some people are not going to want to, to leave. Some people are not going to like that they cannot control you anymore. Those people, they need to go. And 
as soon as you start stepping into your power and stepping into who you truly are, you start finding people with the same tastes. You start finding people with with the same background as you even, you know? And I feel like you need to step a little bit into that energy, okay? But let's see here. What is the advice? We have blossoming. We have faith. So yeah, I definitely feel that with this blossoming, you're blossoming into your true self. I feel like you're blossoming into something um something or somewhat very beautiful and even like it's a 33 card you could be seeing a lot of 333 um because you have another three here and i definitely feel like that is telling you that you are on the right path that you are growing into your highest version of yourself and have faith some people may be leaving your life be grateful that they are and have faith that you will find the right people to for you for yourself and you you would find your path you are not you were never alone okay you were never alone you have support from um well if you feel like you're the only star seed in the world you are not because i'm a star seed so hey i can be your community okay but i believe in you and you are not alone if for all my number number uh two here comment down below let's start a conversation here let's find new people let's give support to each other because you are never alone you're always being guided by the universe and you always have people going through maybe not the same things literally but going through very similar situations and i feel like this is a a message of like don't worry you will find your tribe okay but let's see here we have the six of wands the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, oof, and the King of Cups. So I, honestly, I kind of feel like not only you will find your tribe in terms of friends, but I honestly feel like you may find something else. Uh, for some of you, with this King of Cups, it's really drawing me to love. So you, I really feel like you may be um, finding someone new pretty soon and someone who really vibes with you and really understands you and it's really connected to you on another level it's not just 3d stuff it's not just love let's call it um it, it's not where it's not 3d love it's more because it's your soul family okay they are part of your soul family and i also feel like you would find people that truly empower you that like to see you thrive you will overcome the seven of swords there are people um, lying to you or being like fake friends pretend that they care about you they really don't sorry to be so blunt but I kind of feel like you already know that and they truly need to go so don't be afraid to go on your own on this path because you will find people for you the people that are for you okay I really feel like you are doing great and man don't be afraid to take the leap and go somewhere else. You may, for some of you, you may be literally moving or thinking about it. Okay, do it. Um, but let's see here. Some final messages and advice for you from the universe. Okay. So let's see what we have. We have here. What are your dreams telling you? Really pay attention to your dreams. Oh, oh my God. Ugh. I can't. I always, I'm, I'm always so blown away when this happens. We do have travel. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Uh, and we also have believe. Um, but yeah, as I was saying with your dreams, definitely pay attention to your dreams. Because um, I'm actually picking up on Pisces energy. So you may actually be Pisces. But I, I definitely feel like you're getting a lot of messages. And you're getting a lot of guidance from your guides and from the universe through your dreams. So interpret them and believe faith okay believe in yourself believe that everything is happening how it's supposed to and don't be afraid to let people out there are some nasty people in your life that need to go let them go and step into your power don't be afraid to speak up and to tell your truth okay to be who you want to be all right so this is what i have for you i hope it resonated hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash like button do subscribe if you haven't already uh if you're interested in a private reading the link is going to be down below and you can also follow me on Instagram. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pal number three. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this show, uh, you may be a Virgo. Hello. <laughs> um, but this is your reading. You're in the right place. You don't have to be. Uh, but for me, this is Virgo energy. 
Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start here with a little overall energy of what's going on in your life right now with your family and friends here. Uh, and then we're going to jump into the advice and message you need to hear, okay? So let's see. We have Queen Cups. We have Emperor. And uh, whoa, okay, hello. We do have Emperor and Empress. Honestly, I feel like this is you. Um, this for me, it's very like old soul. And I do feel like you're... You may be a little bit isolated from your family and friends trying to step into this power. Honestly, you're already there, so there's no trying here. But if in your eyes, I feel like you're you're not here yet. It's like, I still have so much to do. Like, I'm not... I do feel like it could be an old soul, but it, it's like, I still have so much to do, in, to do and to learn in this life. So how can I guide others? How can I trust uh, no, trust my own advice? How can I trust that I will give the right advice to people? Honey... This is you, okay? You are already in this emperor and empress throne. Your divine masculine and divine feminine are beautifully balanced. I really feel like you're aligning with your best version. And I feel like you should share that with others, okay? This for me, it's all about listening to others, being compassionate and guiding others, showing the light to others, okay? I feel like you have the ability to do that, but you're not at all trusting of that. And I feel like you need to trust yourself a little bit more. Okay, so let's see here. What is the advice? We have trust. <laughs> I love when that happens. We also have creation. And from the tarot, we have the two of swords, queen of swords, and six of swords. Yeah, I really feel like you're thinking too much on your flaws. You're thinking too much on the things you don't have. You're looking at your whole self and you're like, no, that is not working. That is not okay. I can do this. Uh, and you're just, I feel like you're blocking a lot of stuff, and I'm even getting, you're blocking a lot of growth in certain relationships, specifically with a mother I'm picking up, uh, or like an important female figure here, because you're not trusting yourself, because you feel like, oh no, but like, it, and especially if it is your mother, you may be like, but it's my mother, my mother knows more than me, maybe not, okay, maybe not, maybe she needs a little bit of help here, so trust your own guidance, Trust your own advice. Trust that you give a lot of good advice. And with this creation, I do feel like for some of you, this is about you being a mother. Well, <laughs> empress and creation here. I feel like that's a pretty straightforward thing of, yes, that's possible. And you may be afraid of, but are we really going to make it? Honey, emperor and empress, that's a pretty powerful couple. That's a good pair of parents. You're going to make it. Okay? And, I mean, I'm not a mother myself, but I feel like... From what I hear everyone say, it's like, you don't, and I feel like that's with basically in everything in life. It's like, you don't know shit. So might as well embrace that and learn in the process, okay? If you're waiting for the time that you read all the books and that you have everything figured out, uh, you will never be a mother, you'll never be a father, you'll never be anything. So just trust. Trust in yourself, believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, and have faith in what you can do for others, okay? I really feel like it's time for you to move forward, to move on from this reality you put yourself into, and start creating a new reality as well, okay? Start making other crazy, crazy, wild, um, <laughs> that was a picture between crazy and wild, um, start making other plans, Okay? that are beyond this because I feel like you're really thinking a lot and you're blocking a lot of good opportunities because you're not thinking that you are good enough because you think that you're not wise and you are okay you really really are so let's see here some messages and advice from the universe it's so interesting because this family and friends category it's been more about me stuff <laughs> most of them uh, or, yeah, well, I feel like everything has a root in me stuff, but that's pretty cool. Let's see here. What is the message of advice for pile number three here? Okay, so for those of you who, who do want to be um, a mother or a father or something, there could be something around like maybe you didn't have a good role model and you may be a little bit afraid of not making it. Rewrite your story, okay? Um, it's time to tell yourself something different. Also, before we get into the other cards, 
everything's going to be okay. We're by your side. You're definitely being guided here. So trust, okay? And with that thing of you being an old soul and you giving really amazing advice, you're receiving advice straight from here, straight from the universe. So trust that, okay? Really believe in that. We With this rewriting your story, I really feel like it's also about rewriting your mindset, okay? Tell yourself different stuff. What are your dreams telling you? Pay attention to your dreams because you may be actually getting a lot of information there. Um, a lot of the thing, that thing that we were talking about, you want to read all the books, you want to have all the knowledge before you can advise someone. You're never going to know enough, okay? We're constantly learning, we're constantly figuring out new stuff. And not only that, but the world is constantly shifting. So one day a strawberry is red, the other day a strawberry is actually purple, like, all of a sudden. So what is the point of you reading books telling you that the strawberry is red when tomorrow it could be purple? You know, just trust your own guidance and trust your own discernment, intuition, because I do feel like you have a lot of um, intuition and it's pretty accurate, okay? So definitely pay attention to those dreams because I also feel like you're gaining some messages. That's where I was wanting to go. Uh, I do feel like you're also getting a lot of guidance and some messages through your dreams from the universe, okay? But yeah, we also have let go control. Everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. You're doing great. And you're just in the right place. You are doing everything fine. And when it comes to that thing of pregnancy, everything is happening how it's supposed to. Do it, okay? Go make some babies. So, <laughs> pile number three. This is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button to, for me to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in power reading, by the way, the link is going to be down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well if you're interested in weekly messages and random videos. And that is it. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey there, pile number one. So, if you chose this little guy... Uh, this always reminds me of a bird. It's so interesting. So, special for you, bird. <laughs> but uh, this is your reading, okay? So, we're here in the me section. And we're going to start taking a look at your overall energy, what's going on right now. Um, and then we're going to look into your guidance and advice, okay? So, with this one right here with a shell, this for me, it's very the star card. It's funny because for you specifically, I'm getting the star card in reverse. So, um straight away shout out to all my Aquarius if you were in Aquarius this is definitely your reading um, but you don't have to be I just feel like you have so much to give to the world and you have so many good amazing dreams but you're not really believing it you're not really trusting that those dreams are for you that you can have what you want and I feel like there could be some healing needed here for you to believe in yourself again okay maybe connect with your friends and try to hype yourself up uh, or for them to hype you up, you know, but I really feel like there's this thing of you needing to believe in yourself again and also be grateful and proud, be grateful for everything that you have and proud for everything that you've already done, okay, I feel like you may be getting, being a bit hard on yourself, but let's see what we have here, page of cups in reverse, wow, yeah, nine of cups and two of pentacles, yeah, so I really feel like you're doing here, this is actually reminding me of one of the piles, I think it was in career. It's actually pretty similar where it's, I feel like part of you really believes in your dreams and it's like, oh my God, I'm having my dreams fulfilled. I believe in myself. I believe I can have my dreams here. And another part of you, it's with a page of pentacles in reverse. It's like, dreams? Who are you to dream? You know, and you're not really buying into any of that. It's like part of you really believes in mermaids. Another part of you, it's like, no, mermaids don't exist. And I feel like you need to believe a little bit more in mermaids, okay? I feel like you need to believe a bit more in yourself and in what you're doing because I really feel like you're accomplishing a lot of good stuff. You're not giving yourself the credit for it, okay? Because with this two of pentacles, it's like you're trying to juggle. Um, you could actually, I wouldn't be surprised if you were in Aquarius Pisces cusp because um, it's almost like you're trying to balance your dreams with reality. And now I feel like you're a bit too focused on reality here. Um, and not really seeing all the good stuff you could have, okay? But let's see here. Bring love into the situation. <laughs> New moon in Aquarius. That's crazy. Let's see what else we have. Don't let your past hold you back. South note. So if things didn't work out, if something didn't happen, it wasn't meant to happen at that time. Maybe it wasn't meant to happen at all.
believe in the timing of stuff. Okay, believe in the timing and believe. That it wasn't your fault at, at the time. I always feel like people are doing their best. Sometimes they're not, but you were doing your best that you know at the time. And when we look back, we know more now. So we're like, oh, I could have done more. But at the time, did you know how to do more? So I almost feel like they're uh, okay. I'm actually getting something around career with、um, arts specifically. I'm picking up specifically on. Like you wanting to be an actor or an actress, some something around representation,、um, or theater specifically. Picking up on strong theater, theater、um, vibes, but it, it's like at the time you could have started or you could have tried something and it didn't really work out. Maybe you didn't know all that you know now. Okay, I really feel like you didn't know what you know now. Like we never, we are constantly learning. So now you know so much more. Why not try again? And I feel like you're not really believing in yourself, and you're not really allowing the love that you have for that career, the love that you have for a specific situation, the love that you have for yourself, to show up. You're really letting the past hold you back. You're really letting. Maybe I'm even getting like inner child issues. So take a good look at your inner child and believe. Okay. Five of Swords here, Seven of Cups, and Three Cups. Yeah, I really feel like you need to connect here with the people that are right for you. You know, I feel like you are listening a lot to people that don't support you. You're listening a lot to people that are crushing your dreams and are telling you that your dreams are impossible, that you're not doing what is right, that you should be doing something else. Five of Swords. These people. Are really deceptive and manipulative. They want to control you. They want to make you stay in a place where they are safe. And when you start being authentic and when you start doing your own thing, people get scared because they cannot control that version of you anymore. They don't know who you are. They don't know how to live with that person anymore. It's something that gets them out of their comfort zone. And I kind of feel like you need to get out of your comfort zone as well. And look at what you want to do, because once you start looking into who you truly are and what you truly want to be, or who you truly want to be,、um, with the Three of Cups, you start connecting with your soul family. You start connecting with people with similar dreams. You start connecting with people that make you feel respected. Okay, so there's that thing of maybe you needing to connect with friends and needing them to hype you up. It's with the right friends, not the wrong friends. Okay, it's with the ones that truly believe in you, and I kind of feel that you have both. Okay, this so some of these people it could be family, but I feel like you also know who is who here. You know, if you take a good look, I feel like you start realizing the red flags in some people and the green flags in others, and you start looking at the past and when this didn't work out, when this didn't happen, there were people that supported you. There were people that say. That that told you to keep going. That told you to believe in yourself and to keep fighting for it. There were people just, that told you that no, this is not for you. Maybe you should just give up. You know, I feel like you need to start looking around, looking at the people you have around you, and looking at what you want to do and start doing it. Okay. Again, if that is the case, again, don't give up. So let's see here. Especially because the star, it's all about hope. So final messages and advice for you. From the universe, what do we have? Don't look at that. Your wishes are coming true, man. That's beautiful. So we also have here healing, definitely healing that past, and do something that matters for yourself. Okay, don't listen to this. Listen to this, and listen to yourself. Listen to your heart. And do something that you truly want to do, okay? That could be something as simple as painting your hair. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> do whatever you want, okay? Don't listen so much to others. Listen to yourself and have fun, okay? Really have fun. So, pile number one. This is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already.、Uh, if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. And whoops, what? I will see you any next time. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. Hey there, pile number two. So, if you chose 
this child this is your reading and we're gonna start here with some overall energy to see what's going on and then we'll pull your advice okay so straight away you could be uh dealing with a gemini okay i was going to say you could be a gemini but maybe you're dealing with a gemini <laughs> but you don't have to be this for me it's very gemini energy it's all about communication maybe even social media um i'm hearing comparison i feel like you may be i don't know i feel i don't even feel like it's body image or something i feel like it could be around career or even like with other people it's like uh, your friends, for example, they're all getting married, they are having kids, they are having the career of their dreams, they're being millionaires, and you're there walking your dog. That's fine, okay? And I feel like you're telling yourself, no, that's not fine. That is not okay. It is, okay? It really is. I feel like you should, well, first of all, you shouldn't always trust social media because in social media, people post what they want you to see. Not the bad stuff, not the hours that they had to work over and over and over again, like the extra hours, the things that they had to do, the bad relationships they went through, the all the drama that happened. They don't post that. And I feel like you need to look at your life and be grateful for everything that you already have. Because that dog, that dog is loyal to you. That dog, you're walking through this tree that is very safe, that makes you feel at home, that really brings you peace that is more important than anything else in the world okay your well-being is more important than anything else your happiness is more important than anything else and i feel like you already have so much that you shouldn't be telling yourself that you don't have enough just because of people have different stuff that is the thing i feel like they don't have more or they don't have or you don't have less you have different stuff because everyone has different values okay and also timing is everything for them, maybe getting married at, I don't know, in their 20s was the big thing in their life. For you, maybe getting married in your 50s is the big thing because when, you know, and when you're in your 50s, they are getting a divorce or they already went through three marriages, you know, trust your timing. Don't compare yourself to others. Get you in your own lane, okay? Man, that's a lot of information just from a shell. <laughs> but we have here the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, that's the thing. So I really feel like you're working on stuff. You're really following your heart. You're doing your own thing. Look at her taking a shower. And that is, it's not a, necessarily walking the dog, but it's like you're taking a shower and everyone is getting married. Dude, you're planting some seeds somewhere else. That it's more important to you right now. That it's on your path right now. Your path is not theirs and their path, it's not yours. So really trust yourself and trust the timing is tough because I feel like you're creating so many beautiful things and then you go and compare yourself to others and boom, three of swords. You feel like you're doing everything wrong. You feel like you something has to be wrong with you. There's nothing wrong, okay? I really feel like... I mean, keep hearing gratitude. I really feel like you need to do a little bit more of gratitude journaling. Honestly, during the pandemic, um, I was going through this big career shift and, uh, well, to this, <laughs> but I was going through a lot of major changes and I was finally finding myself and the gratitude journaling was the one thing that changed my life, was the one thing that really kept me going and that really shifted my mindset so much because I started... You know, this shell is also about seeing the good and the bad. So that's all about gratitude. Is some days the only thing I could be grateful for was spaghetti. You know, at least I had spaghetti, you know. <laughs> that happens and it's okay. But honestly, that made, that made my day feel a little bit better. And I feel like you need to be a little bit grateful um, or a little bit more grateful for everything that you have because I really feel like you are have so much and you are building something so beautiful because you're following your heart. Never underestimate the power of your heart. Never underestimate the power of everything that you're doing in your life, okay? We have a new romantic cycle begins and I turned that card exactly when I said the power of your heart. So uh, maybe this is around love. Maybe everyone is getting into a relationship and you are still single has a pringle. That is fine, okay? Join the club. But we have here, you're very close to achieving your goal. Bro, I cannot. We have the Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. 
this Knight of Swords, I see him like he's so suspicious, but he's like, in this case, I'm really getting this vibe of like him, him looking at other people with a side eye, like, okay, what's going on with you? What are, what is happening here? What is going on? And I kind of feel like for some, this could be about like you being your authentic self and people judging you, let them, um, cause you know, that's their perspective perspective of you, their perception of you, and it's nothing to do with who you truly are. So let them. Um, but also I just see him like gossiping a lot at all um to to and just don't, you know, really stay in your own lane. Be in this Queen of Pentacles, beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy of self care, of self empowerment, of believing in yourself because new beginnings here, not only in roman in romance, but Maybe for some of you, for most of you, it is about romance, but a new beginning here is starting. In your career, you're very close to achieving your goal. You know, you're doing everything you can. You're doing the best you can. And because of that, things are really shifting. Things are really moving for you with the Eight of Wands. Okay, things are really moving for you. And they are being balanced. And I kind of feel like you may have a little bit of trouble. I'm picking that specifically for a career where this relationship or okay <laughs> maybe not a career maybe it's love uh maybe a relationship is taking a little bit longer to um grow okay so you could be dating someone and you're dating each other for 20 years and you're never getting married you're building a really solid foundation here okay so don't doubt that and I was going to say in career, maybe you're not seeing the progress, maybe you're not seeing the recognition. That is because you're building a really good ass um, foundation for your career. And because of that, things just grow more and better than things that get this immediate success. You know, you could be comparing yourself to people that had immediate success. How long will that success last? That is a big question. Okay? People who have really strong, solid um, careers and lives, they had to fight a lot. They had to work a lot. And now I'm actually being reminded of this. Um, I saw this masterclass by RuPaul and he said something like, don't look at, don't look up to your friends or like, don't look up to the people you have around you. If you don't want to be them, look up to the people you want to be like. So if that is being a CEO, look up to a CEO. Okay, if that is being in a lovely, beautiful relationship, look up to couples that are like that, you know, and try to look, if that is the case, try to look up to couples that are like that in real life. Okay, so there's that thing of social media again. Really believe in yourself. Like, just, you're doing great. I feel like you need to listen to that. You're doing great. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with you. So let's pull here some final, oh, look at that, your wishes are coming true. Let's pull some final messages and advice for you from the universe. Oh my goodness. Are you looking at that? <laughs> this is so awesome. So you have, you are in the freaking right path. We also have, yes, this is real, okay? Yes, a new lover is coming in. Yes, a new cycle, a new beginning whatever it is. Yes, you're very close to achieving your goals. Yes, you are on the right path. Yes, if this wasn't enough, if we're like, oh no, that should be reversed, you know? Yes, it's, it's real. Okay, you are on the right path. You're doing great. Keep an open mind to seeing things in a different perspective because not everything is as it looks. Okay? So, pile number two. Um, actually, I think I resonated with this a little bit, <laughs> but pound number two, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button, do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in a power reading, the link is going to be down below. Um, what else? Follow me on Instagram. I am real. Okay. I am real. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey there, pound number three. So last but not least, because you're like the last one of everyone. And um, if you chose this show, this is your reading. Um, but it's actually last but not least at all, because this is a pretty fun pile just from that show. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to start by looking into your overall energy, what is going on in your life, in your self-care, in your me stuff. Um, and then we're going to pull some advice and 
uh, guidance for you around that, okay? But if you chose this shell right here, you kind of need to go get out of your house and have fun, okay? I feel like this probably is for people, this, you could be a Leo, um, but this probably is for people that uh, have been staying in your house for a little bit too long, okay? Maybe not, maybe isolating yourself a little bit and not really connecting with friends, not really talking to them, and just, you know, have fun. Because uh, you could also be like overworking and everything. You were doing great. And I feel like you deserve a little break. I feel like you deserve a little rest. Because, you know, this is the sun card. This is the happiest card of the tarot. I feel like you need to enjoy that um, happiness and all those, all that good stuff. Okay? I do feel like there are some new beginnings coming your way. And you kind of need to be in this high vibe um, to really enjoy them. Okay? So... For that case, it doesn't hate me. It doesn't mean that you have to stop working. It just means that I feel like you need to start balancing your personal and professional life, for example, okay? Connecting more with friends and just have fun, okay? <laughs> so we have here the hanged man son. Oh wow, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. Wow, we have look at all this major arcana. God damn, we have the hermit and the empress. This is you. All right, you were the empress. And I feel like you were, um, by the way, shout out to all my Leo Virgos. That's shouting here really strong. Um, but you were doing so great. Like, I feel like you may think that things are in the sentiment uh, where, I don't know, maybe a lot of stagnation. Maybe things are not working out. I should be doing more. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. You were doing just fine, okay? Hangman, it's also about... Um, laying back and rest for a second, you know, gaining enlightenment, gain new ideas. I feel like right now you could be trying to go towards this new, um, I don't know, trying to get inspiration, trying to do this, trying to do that. And usually when you've been saturating your mind and your creative self with work and with a lot of stuff, you don't have the energy to gain those, um, ideas to gain those new perspectives and everything so you kind of need to pull back you kind of need to go into nature go for a walk um and again it doesn't have to be take a break go on vacation it could just mean stop what you're doing and well don't stop this video but <laughs> stop working from time to time and go for a walk go outside and, ha and catch some sun okay vitamin d i really feel like that is so important because you may feel like you always need to know everything. You always need to be on the right path. You always need to know what's coming next. Sometimes you're not supposed to what's coming next. I feel like you need to trust yourself more and you need to trust how things are going and allow ideas to come to you. Don't chase them, okay? Because I feel like that is the worst thing that can happen. Um, and me speaking from, like, I, I studied comp composition and I had a bachelor degree in composition and I studied music for 16 years and like whenever I was forced to write something it was the worst music ever whenever I was truly doing something that would just flow to me it was like I was so proud of that I was so freaking proud and honestly like now that I think uh, now that I'm looking back and thinking about that um my favorite pieces were the ones that really spoke to my heart. My favorite pieces were the ones that I wasn't forced to write, were the ones that I wanted to write. And there's this thing of like, obviously you can't always wait for inspiration to hit, but you can move out of that place. And you can go search for inspiration outside of career. So go into nature and maybe you see a flower that really gets you this feeling and you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to write about that flower. Oh, okay, I'm going to, I just had this idea and I'm going to do something with that color, you know? <laughs> just let yourself be inspired, okay? Let yourself have fun. Your dreams need a practical plan. And we also have here, have faith in your dreams. From the tarot, Knight of Pentacles. Chariot, look at that, and High Priestess, goddamn. Boo, you are sending. Period. Okay, and not only that, I mean, we, out of all the cards, this is the most awesome pal, like, ever. So it's really last but not at all least, because out of all the cards that we have here, out of seven cards, we have one minor arcana. And it, it's a court card. It's not just a little thing. It's a court card, so more than that. Um, but I really feel like 
don't let yourself be fooled by things not moving or things moving really slow in your life. Maybe you're wanting to move out and you're like, man, I can't still move out. I'm trying and I'm trying. I can't find the perfect house or I don't have the money to do that. Stop focusing on that. You manifested that. If you haven't, go manifest that, especially with the new moon in Gemini. That's an eclipse, so definitely use that new moon in your favor um, if you're watching this around that time. But go manifest that and then let it go. Then what do you need to do to get to that house? What do you need to do to be happier? I feel like you may think that to be happier, I need to be more successful. To be happier, I need to have this thing figured out. I, have, I need to have my dreams next to me. You don't. To be happier, you need to have for yourself. And I feel like right now, where you need to, you know, you know, you need to have fun. You need a good laugh with your friends. I feel like you need to pull back a little bit and enjoy life for a second. And you'll see that that's when things start to truly speed up. Okay, maybe around career, you've been um, like having everything figured out and I know we have here your dreams need a practical plan but I feel like you have been thinking too much about wealth for example and not really thinking about following your heart when it comes to relationships maybe you had a whole list of requirements and you're not really letting your emotions play in you know allow yourself to be surprised because again you manifest it or go manifest and after you do that it's done let it come to you. And with this high priestess, know that you are in this beautiful place of high vibrational energy. And when that happens, things just go to you, okay? You just get blessings over and over and over again because the universe and energy is attracted to high vibe energy. So if you're trying to attract a lot of money, a lot of money needs to be attracted to a mindset that allows a lot of money. If you're thinking that, no, a lot of money is so hard, a lot of money is going to be like, well, I'm not that hard to get, so maybe you should get a little bit of time to figure that out, and it takes longer, okay? Just know, I feel like if you, if you can't take one thing out of this reading, you're awesome. Believe in that awesomeness, okay? You're so, you're sending, you're such a high vibe person, and man, you need a little break. You deserve a little break, Okay? And honestly, I kind of feel like that little break is going to last for a lot longer than just a vacation. Because once you start connecting with this thing of like following your heart and doing whatever you feel like doing, it's going to feel like break all the time. But you're working. Okay? So let's see. What is the advice or guidance, uh, messages from the universe to you? For my palfries. <laughs> Bro, I cannot... Look at that. You are on the right path. And look at that. I love me. Yeah. It's okay. I feel like you need to gift yourself. Okay. I really feel like you need to be proud of yourself and be a little bit more gentle with yourself. Okay. We also have here um, small things matter too. Okay. So again, it doesn't have to be like a full on vacation. It, 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 just has to be a little walk, for example. Or go eat, okay? Take care of your body. self codependency You are the only person you need and you are independent. You are abundant. Tell yourself affirmations like that, okay? Because you already are like that. And with this home, there's nothing of maybe you wanting to move out. Um, and know that that home will chase you. It's not your job to chase that home, okay? If that home is meant to be for you, it will chase you. All over the place. Because you're so high vibe. Dude, you really, if you take anything from here, you're high vibe, maintain that high vibe. Okay? Or you are getting into that high vibe place. So really fight for it. Don't fight for material stuff. Fight for your happiness. Fight for your high vibration. Because that is awesome. And everything will follow. Okay? So this is really good. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Just subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below. What else? Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.